What's up everybody, I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and I know that because my teleprompter right here tells me what my name is and where I'm from. So I can't mess this up. I'm perfect, this is good, I'm on camera. I guess the next thing I'm gonna talk about is this awesome Sunseeker RV by Forest River. We did a ton of stuff to this. We made it cool, almost as cool as that BT Cruiser. Wait, we're not talking about that. We're talking about sun seekers, guys. I got motorhomes everywhere that we are building. These are awesome. Let's go check them out. All right, so we're starting off in the front of this RV. We're gonna work our way all the way to the back of it. Well, big thing that you can see that we did on the front of this is we took the chrome grill and we, or grill, chrome bumper, duh, that's the chrome grill. So we blacked out the grill too. We blacked out the bumper on this and we blacked out the hubcaps on it as well. And it really makes these things look nice as well as give you that really custom look to it. It's also tying in all the black accents that already come on the RV, like the mirrors, the window frames and all kinds of trim molding going down the side of this. So it really, it's almost like it should have been done that way from the factory. The next thing we're gonna talk about is maybe, you know, maybe this is just my opinion, but maybe this should have been done from the factory as well. Let's go check out this front suspension. All right guys, so as we jump underneath here, of course you're gonna notice that this does have the blacked out hubcaps, which are really nice. Another thing is this does still have the stock tires on there, which are a 225, 75, 16. Now it doesn't look horrible, and of course I get it. You wanna put the lift on, but maybe you really don't wanna buy new tires because your tires are still in excellent shape. Well, doesn't matter, you can still do that later on, and the kit's still going to look great. And just wanna show you what this lift kit is going to look like with stock wheels and tires on there. So what we've done in the front of this is this is our off-grid lift kit. This is going to be a six inch lift kit. You can see that we've put the giant coils in there. We've added the Fox shocks to it. Now, another thing that we do with all of these kits is we do these extended radius arms and new brackets. That's gonna move all the suspension forward. The big thing that these radius arms and brackets are going to do as well is they're going to add more caster to your RV front suspension. Caster is going to be your best friend and help that RV drive straighter down the road. The next thing that we've done is we've modified the beams in order to correct for the camber. We've added the sway bar drop brackets because we know that you wanna retain that OEM sway bar as well. What's great about this kit is with doing this, you're not gonna need any of those other products like Sumo Springs and heavy duty Helwig sway bars and steering stabilizers that are really, really expensive. That's what's really nice about this kit is we're actually fixing the major issues of this front suspension and not putting a Band-Aid on it. Now, we did add our Fox steering stabilizer to the front of this as well. And if you're wondering, well, I really want one of those Fox steering stabilizers, but my RV is not lifted, can I still buy that and install it on my RV? Is it going to make a difference? Well, yes it is. You can buy it on our website. I will make sure to put a link down below where you can go and buy that. So we're done up here in the front. Let's head to the back. All right, so we're jumping to the back of this. You're gonna first notice that these awesome blacked out hubcaps are back there. And you, like we said, we still do have the stock tires. Of course, when you do go to that larger tire, that 235, 85, 16, it's going to look awesome, kind of like that BT Cruiser over there. And if you want to see more on a BT Cruiser, I will throw up a card right here and you can go and check that out. <clears throat> All right guys, so helicopters flying over, airplanes all the time. I guess that's what happens when you're in the path of an airport. I mean, you just gotta roll with it. It happens all the time and here comes another airplane now. So maybe it drowns out my voice and makes it less annoying with the helicopters and airplanes, I don't know. So we have added our progressive leaf springs in the back of this. And if you've seen any of these videos, you know that that's really important because depending on the size of your RV, 
Some of these RV leaf springs sit really flat, and I will guarantee you the larger your RV gets, the more band-aids that they've installed in it in order to get it off the lot and to help it carry the load. You're gonna see things like airbags in the rear of them, as well as the helper springs put in the back of them. The Hellwork helper springs are going to help carry the load of an overweighted RV. Yes, that is great. Airbags are also good if you're going to be towing and need additional height or lift while towing but not all the time, you don't want that. And now with kits ranging all the way from two inches to six inches, for the RVs, we definitely have an RV lift kit for you. We also added a set of Fox shocks in the back of this, but uh, overall guys, this was a simple build. Looks really, really nice. Can't wait to see what it looks like once they put some tires on it. Let's see if there's anything else I can show you on this RV, come on. This is the biggest thing guys right here is with all of these RVs, these levelers sit so low to the ground and the last thing you want to do is rip one of these off and have a really expensive fix and not only that, but the ability to use them. So what we've done here is with this whole lift kit, you can see just how high these are off the ground with never going to be able to rip them off. You can see that on the back of this, how many times this is even drug this rear skid pad on the back of this hitch, which is just crazy to me that this was dragging all the time. And we're not gonna have that issue anymore with this lift kit, which is really great. I mean, this is a big part of why we're doing this is not only to improve the ride, but really give you more ground clearance to get you to that off-grid camp spot. Heck, I know there's even gas stations that I'm dragging in and out of as well. So really big thing, is uh, look at all this ground clearance we got under here. So much room for activities. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, so that was a ton of fun showing you all the things. Again, this is a Sun Seeker by Forest River. This is also a 21 and a half foot. So technically the part number, body number is 2150LE. If you're looking to get an RV or maybe you have this particular model and wondering if this is a good fit for you. So we did a six inch kit on the front. We also did the rear and our blackout package on it as well. Now guys, if you want to see more about this Sun Seeker or maybe this BT Cruiser, head over to Jeremy's World 10 where I'm going to do a walkthrough video on both of these talking about tiny RVs and maybe we even compare it to like a Sprinter van because I want to say they're about the same length. Otherwise guys, I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. I know that. Again, it says it right there. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.